When Dick Thomas's prized koi, Carla, became extremely swollen, he knew he needed help. He took her to Purdue University's veterinarian hospital. X-rays and ultrasound revealed a large tumor. Thomas authorized Dr. Lori Corvo to proceed with the $1,200 surgery to save the life of a $4,000 showfish. You know, it's a pet. Mm -hmm. So that's part of it too. Corovo has performed nearly half a dozen fish surgeries. Definitely we know some of these koi can be quite valuable and uh, we're more than willing to you know make sure that we can remove you know ovaries that are not doing what they're supposed to or maybe have a cancer or cysts. Um, we're you know people are also you know, even with just regular goldfish you know they have swim bladder issues. Um, some people are doing surgery to do implants to kind of help with their buoyancy issues. Mm -hmm. Carla was sedated with a powdered anesthesia in her water. To keep her alive during a two-hour surgery, an aquarium pump was used to pass water across her gills. Her mass ended up being right underneath the pelvic bone and actually up closer towards her liver and the cranial part of her salomic cavity. And so we had to extend that incision further up. That's why her incision is quite long. Corvo removed more than two pounds of tumor and fluid from Carla. <laughs> you lost a lot of weight. <laughs> After several weeks convalescence at home in a quarantine tank, Carla returned to have her sutures removed. She displayed vigor on the table. Could you tell if she had uh, more growth or if that was all fluid in there? I think this feels relatively normal. It feels kind of like um, just solid tissue. In addition to surgery, fish with cancer are sometimes treated with lasers, chemotherapy, or radiation. Um, the hard thing about radiation therapy is that there's obviously, obviously other organs in there that potentially could get damaged, and so there is more of a risk for radiation based on where her mass was located. Koi can live for decades. Thomas is still hoping for a long-term relationship with the fish he brought from Japan more than three years ago. And a lot of times it'll take um, months or years for them to kind of come around and have a, you know, a friendly personality, let's say. Unfortunately for Carla, the massive size of her tumor makes it likely that the cancer will return. But this gives Mr. Thomas a lot more time with Carla, that he can enjoy her and she can mm -hmm. enjoy him. Purdue discounted Carla's treatment because it presented a learning opportunity for its students. With nearly 13 million home aquariums in the U.S., Corvo expects vets across the country will increasingly provide fish aggressive treatment. Definitely the popularity of fish is there. I think it's important to realize that, you know, when your fish is sick, that the veterinarians mm -hmm. do take care of fish, and there may be some things that we can do to help your fish live. At Purdue University, I'm Jim Shank.